Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. Hope everyone's having a great day today. I'm gonna talk about staples that I eat on a regular basis on a high, raw, plant-based diet. So thanks for joining me, first of all. Uh, I look a little out of sorts here. I just did a pretty brutal seven mile run in the heat. Uh, I got some sunshine, it was great. I'm preparing for my next half marathon, which will be at about a month in mid-June. So just did a seven mile run, getting ready for that. But anyways, I'm talking about again, what I eat, what are my staples on a high raw uh, plant-based lifestyle. So I've been doing this for several years now and I just figured I'd go over that for anyone that's kind of new to the lifestyle or maybe looking for some new ideas. I'm just gonna share what works for me. So I'll start off by talking about my smoothie and the staples that I use for that. So uh, if, you're, if you don't already know, I love smoothies. I have a smoothie almost every day. And one of the main things that I put in my smoothies is bananas. So I always have a lot of bananas on hand, at least probably around 50 to 70 bananas. The reason why is because I have to let them get ripe. When I buy them from the store, they're not ripe enough. I buy them in big bunches. I let them ripen up and a lot of times I'll freeze them once they get nice and ripe. And generally I'm using between four and 10 bananas a day, just depending on what I'm eating. So I go through a lot of bananas. I like to have a nice stash ready to go. So that's definitely one of my main staples. And also in my smoothies, I love putting berries. So generally I've been putting frozen berries in my smoothies, so I always have frozen blueberries, frozen strawberries, and frozen mixed berries. So definitely keep the, I keep those on hand all the time. Sometimes I'll put fresh berries too, so that kind of depends on the season. So right now we're starting to get in some really sweet berries here in Central Oregon in late May. So fresh berries are another staple that I will either eat or put in my smoothie. Another thing in my smoothie, I sometimes put coconut water and I sometimes put almond milk. So I always keep coconut water and almond milk on hand. I just buy those from the store. Uh, another thing in the smoothie is soaked chia seeds. I love soaked chia seeds. I think they're great for digestion. So what I do is I take a half a cup, or excuse me, a third of a cup of chia seeds with a cup and a half of water. Put that in a little uh, Tupperware and I throw that in the refrigerator and that lasts for a few days. So chia seeds are huge for my smoothies. You can just make pudding with them, but uh, I like to put them in the smoothies. I think they're great for digestion. I sometimes get hemp hearts and flax seeds, although not as often. I like using chia seeds the most. So those are good sources of um, fat as well and protein. I, one more thing I wanna mention about my smoothies is Sometimes I use green powders, and sometimes I don't. It just depends on what I feel like doing. So I enjoy the Marcus Roscrans green powders. I think those are some of the best on the market. Um, so that's the one that I use, Marcus Roscrans. If you've never heard of that guy, he's pretty cool. And he makes good green powder. So that's a good raw vegan green powder. Moving on to fruits. So I always keep fruits on hand. I always have bananas and apples all year round because they're just readily available. As far as other fruits, it goes by the season. So in January to April, May, I love navel oranges and grapefruits. So sort of in the winter time, I'm doing navel oranges and grapefruits along with the other fruits such as the bananas, berries, and apples. This time a year, uh, we start getting the fresh berries. So I'm also adding fresh berries to my daily meals, my smoothies, whatever, as, long, as with the frozen berries. So the, as of right now, the oranges and the um, grapefruits kind of just left us. So now we're getting the berries. Also, not to mention the summer now, I just got my first watermelon. So summertime, we're doing the berries and then the watermelons and other melons as well. So various melons are coming in that are really good and berries later in, and there's gonna be peaches coming up. That's gonna be later in the summer, like peaches and plums and things like that. Later in the fall, when it cools off again, we start getting really good uh, pears and apples, 
real good apples and great pears. So I, you just kind of got to follow the season with the fruit. I would get whatever is the best quality given that time of year, depending on where you live. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention, I've also been getting some good mangoes. They're obviously not from Central Oregon, but they've been good. So I've been getting mangoes lately. So I just kind of follow the season depending on what is the best is that will be, that will be dependent on what I get. Now I'm also huge into salads. So I'm, I always have tender leafy greens in stock and or red leaf lettuce, green leaf lettuce, butter lettuce, things like that. So I always have organic lettuces, organic tender leafy greens. As far as what I put into the salad, um, I'm huge on tomatoes, cucumbers, bell peppers, avocado. Those are my four favorite. The tomatoes, cucumbers, and bell peppers, those are all really high in water content along with basically everything else I've mentioned. Um, obviously the avocado is not so much, but those are another good staple that I always have on, have on hand as well. So those are some of the things I put on my salad. Um, other things I sometimes put in as well could be like sunflower seeds, um, walnuts. Uh, I also keep, usually keep almonds on, on, on hand as well. For the almonds, I like to soak those overnight and then, uh, and then you can just peel them and eat them. Those are, that's a real good way to have almonds. Another thing I wanted to mention about the smoothie sometimes that I put in my smoothies are almond butter and or peanut butter. So I, I generally will have raw almond butter on hand and I'll also have peanut butter on hand. Sometimes I'll put those in my smoothies, sometimes I won't. Sometimes I'll put them in other things. Maybe I'll make an oatmeal and put them in there. Maybe I'll make some toast, put it on there as well. And that, now let's move on to some things that I keep on hand that are not raw, but I, again, this is a, a high raw plant-based diet. So for people that are including cooked foods, um, these are some other things I keep on hand. Oatmeal, uh, beans and rice, lentils, tortillas, pasta, pasta sauce, hot sauce, uh, things such as that. And I'm trying to think, I'm sure I'm forgetting some things. I'll usually keep some mixed nuts on hand. Um, raisins are another one I'll sometimes put in my salads. Uh, as far as supplements, I don't do a whole lot of supplementing. I do the, the you know, green powder, like the Marcus Roscrans green powder, if you want to call that a supplement. And I'll usually keep B12 on hand. I'll take B, take B12 sometimes. I do not take vitamin D. I just get out in the sun. So I don't, I don't really take any other supplements. I think most stuff we can get through our food, you know, maybe B12 is questionable. And then the green powder is good to add because there's a lot of um, high nutrition in the green powder. So I'm trying to think of anything else. I probably forgot some things. I just kind of came up with this, all of this on the top of, off the top of my head right here. But I'm going to also show you what I'm eating today as well. So right now it's probably around noon, probably actually probably closer to 1230. I'm going to go in. I'm going to get showered off. I have not had anything to eat today. I like to work out fasted. I practice intermittent fasting if you don't already know. So I'll generally start eating around one o'clock, give or take an hour. Sometimes I'll start eating at noon. Sometimes I'll start eating at 2 p.m. But on average, it's about one o'clock. So I'm gonna get cleaned up. I'm gonna get back to work and then I'll be showing you what I'll be having here for my first meal today. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 